Hello, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back guys. So in today's video, I created this olive brownish, smoky, shimmery eye look. There's no wing liner, so it's really, really easy to create. I feel like I've been loving a lot of no wing liner makeup looks. Like I've been loving it. It just takes, it's just, it's so much faster to do. And I used to think that, well, if I don't wear wing liner, I don't look glam. I don't know why I used to think like that. But now I literally, I hardly even use wing liner which I love because it used to take me so much more to do my makeup because you have to like wing it out clean it up and all this stuff so yeah I've been loving it and so I created this look I think it's so easy to create and it's very appropriate for fall and also for like a day glam or like a night glam you can just switch up the color of the lip or, or just add a little bit more brown to the outer corner you can do so much uh, to make it more of a glam look, but I think this is perfect for a day or a night glam look But yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look then keep watching So for today's video, I'm gonna be using the morphe 35 om palette I'm gonna start with this shade right here for my transition color and I'm just gonna buff that in into my crease By the way, I'm using the morphe m441 this is literally one of my favorite fluffy brushes. Now I'm gonna go in with this olive green. It's kind of like olive yellow. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like a mustard olive color. I'm gonna be taking the same brush and I'm just gonna add that to my crease. I really wanted to do a dark, vampy, fall look but to be honest today is such a beautiful day in Chicago it's like 75 degrees so I was like eh, I don't know I'll just wait until it gets really chilly technically this look is still a little bit fall but it's not as dark and like burgundy and red you know what I mean it's still kind of fall but it's not as dark I like to always bring the eyeshadow really low because then I like to go in with a uh, makeup remover and then I, I like to make a really like sharp uh, line and I feel like it looks so nice and it almost makes it look like you are wearing like a wing liner even if you're not wearing like wing liner if it makes sense like it makes your eye look a little bit more like sharp you know what I mean so I love to bring my eyeshadows all the way down here and then I like to cut it. This makeup look is pretty easy. That's all I'm gonna be doing for my crease. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of shimmer and for that I'm gonna be using the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors, um, the girls palette. I'm gonna be taking this beautiful green gold um, color. I'm literally obsessed with this palette in general. Like it's amazing. Like. I've been using this non-stop every time I want to do like a glam or even if it's not like a full glam I like to just you know do like a soft transition color and then add that to my lid some lashes and bam that's it all the colors are beautiful but honestly I've been obsessed with these two right here the two on the bottom it's just the best I'm gonna be using a flat brush and I'm gonna wet it a little bit so the product goes on a little bit more metallic Okay, so to be honest, I feel like this eyeshadow works a lot better when you use your finger. So I'm gonna not be fancy and just use my finger. I feel like when I use my finger, um, it picks up a lot more product than when I use my, like a brush or anything. I feel like when I do it with my brush, it doesn't pick up any product. So I'm gonna go in and use my finger. And I'm gonna bring it up pretty high. And then I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush and blend it out. I added a little bit of eyeliner. I didn't wing it out just because I wanna keep this look a little bit more simple and easy and fast. Uh, but I am gonna add a little bit of mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise.
You can leave it like this with just mascara or you can add lashes for a little bit more of a glam um, or just if you just like lashes no matter what. Uh, I am going to go put on lashes and I'm using the House of Lashes Iconics. These are the Iconics light by the way. Alright so lashes are on so I'm going to move on to the face and I'm going to be priming my face with the Professionals Professional by Benefit. It's also good to do your eyes before your face, especially when using um, glitter eyeshadows because then it gets all on your face and I feel like it ruins all the work that you did. So I do recommend if you are using any glitter, especially dark colors, do your eyes first and then move on to your face. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Healthy Elixir Cover Girl and I'm in the color Warm Beige. So I'm going to apply some on my Beauty Blender and then go in. I've been loving this foundation so much. I feel like it makes my face look so dewy without making it look greasy or oily. Do you know what I mean? So I've been loving this. I love the shade. It's like an olive, like an olive color and it's just, it's just so beautiful. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the color medium. Mixing medium and light sand because this one is too light for my skin color and this one is a little bit like too dark so i'm gonna be mixing two now that i'm a little bit lighter and my tent is kind of going away i feel like these two will make my perfect match it's that time of the year where you have to start changing your foundation your concealers and everything Yeah, this one is super, super light for me. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of it because this one is literally too white. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and blend it all out. I really wish I could record more videos for you guys, but honestly, if I didn't have another job, actually two jobs, I would have all the time in the world to record, but I'm always working or just, doing homework or just just always busy and the little time that I have off I'm like I need to record I need to edit and I don't know if you're familiar with editing videos but honestly it takes me so long like especially the times that I'm like you know doing my makeup and talking oh my god those videos take me so long to edit and I am not the best in like computers or any of that so I can say that I've gotten a lot better, but it still takes me a long time. Like sometimes I like have to work on my video for like two, three hours and then like I'll finish it the next day because I'm just like, it's too much. Um, but I know I'll get better and I have gotten better because I remember when I first started editing videos, it would literally take me a whole week to edit. I know it sounds so dramatic, but it would take me a whole week like I will work on it for a little bit and then I would get so frustrated because I couldn't like figure out how to do this or that so I would just be like okay I quit and then I will come the next day and then like work on it a little bit more and now I can f I feel like I can get a whole video done in like one day although it does take me like four or five six hours I'll be setting and baking with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I've been loving this product so much. Before I used to use it like, I don't know, like here and there. And now I find myself going for that product like nonstop. I, I've been loving this so much. And it's so cheap too, like so cheap. It also, I feel like it helps my face stay so matte all Day. I mean, not, I don't know all day, but it, it keeps it matte more than usual because my face is really oily and a lot of products, they make it look matte like right when I do my makeup, but within like 30 minutes, you can see like some kind of shine coming through. But this makes my face so matte for a very long time. And also smells like my grandma, like smells like like you know how like old ladies smell like like flowers and like powder well this is what it smells like so it reminds me of my grandma i love it 
and whatever is left on my sponge I like to go in and press on the rest of my face so I can set the foundation but I'm not baking you know what I mean I'm gonna be oh my god I have like powder all over my shirt okay so I'm gonna be browning my face with gimme sun by Mac and I'm using my Morphe E4 angle brush I've been letting my eyebrows grow so much like well not so much because I hardly grow any eyebrows um, but I used to like plug them all the time like I liked clean eyebrows and now I really want them to get bushy like I want bushy eyebrows but like I literally have no hair on my body at all so which is a good thing I'm not complaining I'm I know I'm I know I'm blessed for not having so much hair but when it comes to my eyebrows I wish I had more hair like I literally been trying so hard to you know just make them look you know like fluffy and you know just bigger I haven't plugged them in like two weeks but like I said I hardly grow any hair so hopefully something happens but I don't know I'll keep you guys posted with that but I really really want like Frida Kahlo eyebrows so I'm gonna remove all this powder I'm gonna move on to the bottom lash and I'm gonna go in with the green color right here and I'm just gonna smoke that out I'm gonna be taking a small little brush like this and I'm gonna be taking this dark chocolate color right here and I'm just gonna add that really really close to the waterline this is gonna help to define your eyes a little bit more All right, so I already added some mascara to my bottom lashes, so I'm gonna move on to highlighter. And today I'm gonna be using the Master Chrome by Maybelline. And I'm gonna use this one because this one is more of a champagne gold color, so I think it will go really nice with the eye look that I have on. I'm gonna go back to the Dessie Katie palette and I'm taking this champagne color and I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner. For blush, today I'm using the Milani Baked Blush and this is in the color Luminoso. I've been loving this color so much. Like I've been using this nonstop. You know when you get like obsessed with a product and even though it's like super old, like it's not even a new product, but I've been like you just get like obsessed with the same products and I hate doing that because I like trying new products but I've been just going for the same products non-stop and this is one of them. I'm not going to be adding a lot, I'm just adding a little bit to the cheeks and also a little bit on the nose. For lips today, I'm going to be using the more creamer please. This is also by Desi and Katie collection by Dose of Colors. But first I'm gonna be lining my lips with the NYX London Lip Liner. I love this color. I do feel like it's a little bit more on the mustard brown side. Like I feel like if I was a little bit more tan, this would look a little bit more nude. But since I'm like not as tan anymore, this looks kind of brown on my lips, which I'm okay with. I love it. Right on top of that, I'm going to go in with the Vivid Hot Lacquer, Lacquer? Lacquer? by Maybelline, and this is in the color Unreal. Do you see how it's still pretty, you know, mustard brown, but just adding this, I love it. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like this look. It's really nice to create different looks for you guys. I feel like it inspires me to try and do new things because I myself sometimes get like used to the same look and you know, I have to be creative when I make videos so it has opened my eyes to so much 
just making YouTube videos for you guys. Like I have been so creative with my looks. Maybe to you it's not as creative, but it, it definitely is for me. Like before it was just like the same thing over and over again. I used to use wing liner all the time and now I've been creating a lot of looks and mixing different colors. I've been playing with a lot of my makeup that I used to just have there and never use. Um, so I've been loving this so much and yeah I hope you guys get inspired to try your own makeup have fun with makeup if you don't like how it looks just wash your face and you know that's it like there, that's all there is so I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one Mwah.